Hello and welcome to Countryside Knitting. My name is Mireta and I uh, talk to you now from Averøy, a place in Norway. And this is my farm. And this is a podcast mainly about knitting and a little bit about crochet. We are two who run this together, but this episode will be by me only. And it is about shawls. If you have watched our episodes earlier, you will have noticed that I have a passion for shawls. Um, uh, we used to do this podcast only in Norwegian, and then I have made uh, three different episodes with only shawls before. And now I made one number four in Norwegian, and then I think I will do the same um, in English. And maybe I will also show you uh, the shawls that I have done in the previous three Norwegian episodes, the one that I have left. I don't have all of them now, but if you're interested in shawl, you're welcome to watch. I really like to knit shawls and there are several reasons and I think the, one of the reasons is that it is not so easily a failed project because a shawl is something you can wear it's not supposed to fit in special ways. Of course you have different shapes, um, but if you know what shape you want, uh, or it's kind of easy to find the shape that you want, and it's so easy to make a shawl that you will be very happy about. I have triangular shawls, I have crescent shaped shawls, long, short, uh, many of them are made in wool, uh, alpaca, merino, and different mixes. Um, and I am uh, a knitter that when I find a pattern that I really like, I can knit a lot from the same pattern because then I just use other yarns, I use scrap yarns uh, and I play with colors and I put in my own elements. So you will see some of these uh, shawls that I will show you are from the same pattern. I can make them over and over again. Um, I think I will start with the, the ones who are newest to me. Um, um, so I have a pile of shawls and I will just start uh, at the point and you will just uh, follow me through. Um, the first one is a mix. Uh, in a way I should have done this at the end because you would understand but I, I will start with this. It's on the top of my pile of shawls. This is the shawl that I knitted now recently, and I don't think I have even shown it in an uh, ordinary episode. This is a mix of two of my favorite shawls. And that is Shimmening by Sofia Kammerborn. What I have taken from Shimmening is the, um, the garter and the stocknet uh, variation. And I have used hand dyed yarn for the stocknet, because I think that's a way that uh, the, the, the the colors really play in this um, and I like the structure, I like the way it feels. Um, but Shimning is a triangle, triangular shawl, uh, but I have made it into Lovely, that's a lovely leaf cardigan by Norwegian designer Strikkelisa. So I used her shape and I used her leaves. And there's a, the hand dyed yarn is a sock yarn from Limo Design, she's Swedish. And there is um, the garter uh, is uh, lamp's wool from Rauma. And then I had a uh, lamp's wool from Rauma that I dyed myself as the leaves. This is not so big. I can very easily wear it like this. I can even tie it because it's a lot of wind where I live. So I usually I have to make a knot. If not, it will blow away and fall off me. So this uh, was a kind of a mix that I really liked. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, what I also have made now recently is the same kind of wool. It's lamp's wool from Raima and uh, the bottle green is from the factory. Uh, and the other one is something I have dyed myself. This is an, um, a pattern that is not published anywhere. It's Ivona. If you have watched my episode from Kaffebrenneria only in Norwegian. Uh, she's the one I talked together with uh, from Kaffebrenneria. And the shape is her, 
hers <laughs> and I just put in some different uh, structures. Uh, moss stitch, no not moss stitch, it's uh, just, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, stocking it a little bit, um, plain uh, uh, garter stitch and something in between. And I have a crochet uh, border at the end. It's very light and lamp's wool I think it's, it's okay to have close to my skin because it's uh, quite soft. Some other shawl uh, that I made now recently is a really big one. This is the Parrock shawl from Marina Blackburn or Marina Skua as she is called as a designer. And it's big and triangular and it has diamond shaped uh, pattern. Uh, the yarn that I used is, uh, I have to look at my notes, uh, this is Lana Gatto Alpaca Superfine, the burgundy, and the other one is uh, Mondial, an Italian yarn called Setoso Merino Blend, so it's alpaca and merino. It's DK, so it's rather thick, uh, but it's very soft, but a little bit heavy, but really lovely, and I love these colors. Uh, so Perrock Shawl by Marina Skua. Uh, another shawl that I have made is a Norwegian designer called Anita Wangen. She has made Anita Shawl. It's quite easy. Uh, a repetition of uh, garter stitch and some kind of lace. What is... That's a good thing I think when you cannot see what is wrong on the right side. Uh, you start here at the bottom and you end up like this. No increase, no decreasing, only increasing. And um, knitted uh, pico border at the end. Uh, this yarn changes colors uh, rather slowly, so it's not so busy. It's um, a Linus du Nord uh, called Poema Tweed. It's a new yarn. And I was given this yarn from Yvonne in Coffee Brenneria. Really nice shawl, quite small um, and feminine, but you can make this in scrap yarns and you can change colors. Uh, so a lot of things you can do with this uh, design. Another thing that I have made was a test knit from uh, Hefte Strick, that's a Norwegian designer. I don't know if these uh, patterns are in English. I could have checked, but I haven't. So that would be something you would have to do if you're interested. This is called Solnedgang i Havlande. Uh, in English that would be sunset in the... Uh, in, the uh, in the landscape of ocean or sea. And it's Isager Alpaca 1. It's really thin, but it it's held double and then uh, you put in one new color uh, every now and then and you get this very nice, um, like a sunset. This is almost like a heart when you light up on the floor. So if I have this around my shoulder, it would kind of just fall in the front like this and it's very uh, cozy and warm. It's not triangular, it's almost like heart shaped. A lot of stitches in the end. I think I had 800 something for the lace at the end. This lace should have been a little bit longer but I didn't have enough yarn so I stopped and it was enough. <laughs> it's big enough. Uh, so this is alpaca and lovely colors and as you will see my shawls are green, pink and uh, burgundy, lilac it's colors like that. I have a shawl that is a little bit more rough because it's a uh, wool from um, uh, how to say, an old Norwegian uh, breed of sheep um, that I dyed. Uh, this is from a farm, uh, Brit Strikenard, if you know her, she has Norwegian and sometimes English podcast. And I dyed it and that is uh, the lilac and the green is uh, Jameson and Smith to apply. This is lovely leaf cardigan as it is supposed to be, with the uh, leaves. When I had it in the washer machine just to, to make it soak out the water, I had 
uh, pushed a wrong button so it almost felted. So it's a little bit felted. But I noticed uh, my mistake in time and I got it out. This is a little bit sticky um, for sure. So if I get more of that yarn, I think I will make um, a hat or mittens or something with it. But this shawl is wonderful, beautiful. I have also made a lovely leaf uh, shawl from Strikkelisa with a lot of scrap yarns. And this is um, an experiment. That is why I love the pattern so much. This is, you can see it's very long. What I did was that I had some yarn that is kind of bronze or what to call it, uh, like metal, metallic. And I hold it together with plum from, that's a mohair from Rauma. And the plum is all the way together with my my yarn. So I had a Sausalito Crystal Palace yarn. Uh, I don't know much about that yarn, but it changes colors. Uh, I had that um, in stripes and then I had this um, metallic um, scraps that I, when I didn't have um, en enough, I just uh, used another one, almost the same. And this is so funny that I think these colors are kind of ugly and pretty at the same time. Um, and at the end I needed something for the um, leaves and then I had Filcolana Arveta Classic. So these colors, it's a mix of colors, but I think together with the plum that is uh, the same all over the shawl, it's really a nice shawl and I wear it like this. And this is one of my favorites, I've used it a lot. It didn't go well with the colors I wear today. <laughs> kind of stupid to, to wear colors that don't match my shawls, some of the shawls it matches. I, I met a lot of international uh, designers and podcasters in uh, Orkanger uh, first, first of March last year. I have talked about that already a lot. I think that was the time when we started to make English episodes. And Mars, who is a uh, high brown berry, she has a podcast. And that Marina Skua also has a podcast, I forgot to mention. Uh, but uh, hey, brown berry had uh, this shawl with her, and it is called the Ritual Shawl. And I have made the Ritual Shawl in a merino from yeah, Ad Libris, and I dyed these myself. And it's a Norwegian Leine Merino, the white one. It's really feminine, it's really, it's big, it's triangular and stockinette stitches mostly and a really nice border. This is like a dream of a shawl. I love it. Maybe I will make more. That's what I say about many of my shawls. I have made a shawl called Iris or with the Iris <laughs> in English from um, uh, Lil Cot Design, she's a Norwegian designer. Uh, this is the shape of it only because I put in um, other elements, structures, um, but the shape and um, the way there is a cable at the end and the, so the border is exactly the same as the pattern says. And this is uh, mohair in Norwegian from Telespin, it's called Mari. It's it's got a really nice halo, not too much. It will not come into my mouth when I <laughs> use it. That's a, a bit annoying if you have too much fluff in the yarn, uh, in your shawls, they will get into your face, eyes, nose and uh, mouth. And that's not a good thing. So this was, I thought when I made it, I think I remember, I thought I had too many colors because it's a bit of a scrap yarn project, but I think it turned out really well. And I had a very nice time when I made it, and uh, I really loved the result. I was supposed to test knit. No, that's something else. Sorry, <laughs> this is a um, body and musketeel. That would be only one more stitch. Um, the show from the Norwegian designer Gro Tveitstø. She also has a podcast that is called Body and Musketeel uh, in Norwegian. And I got this yarn, so this was when we had a podcasters meeting in October. We got um, Socky Fine from Adlibris and I had some Socky Fine uh, that Janne had dyed for me, so I used that for the lace part. And I could have made it bigger 
uh, but I think this was enough and it's really light and thin and I can use it as a shawl inside and I love the colors. I hope I'm not too quick. <laughs> Uh, Jenny Penny, she's a Swedish designer with a lot of funny, I would say funny uh, and surprising designs. And she has made a shawl called Evenly Uneven, always difficult to say. And it is such a funny shawl. With uh, three colors, start here and then you do a lot of crazy things. Um, it, I don't know what to say. This was so fun. Uh, the yarn is a merino silk blend uh, dyed by a Norwegian called Kabberta. Uh, look at this. I should use this more. I have only for put it too <laughs> uh, far into my closet. Um, so I think I have just used it a couple of times. This will be, I have to put it here to use it. It's very light and good to have now when it's spring. I was supposed to um, to try, uh, this was not a test knit, but I got um, the pattern. It is called Havlon Schale, that would be the country by the ocean. <laughs> Hettestrik, Elisabeth uh, Gigernes. But I did a mistake. Uh, I should have had several repetitions of these panels, but I don't know what happened when I read <laughs> the pattern, but this, I could have, um, ripped it up and done it again, but just, I like this because I can use it inside like this, it's a little bit short, but I, what I can do is to have it in my hair. Um, I will not do it right now, but it's exactly uh, the, the size that uh, would be perfect to have in my hair as a hairband. So, and the yarn is Socky Fine, dyed by Janne. Um, Kari Hesnes, she's a Norwegian designer who has made a lot of shawls. And this is a shawl I did when we had a make-along, knit-along from her patterns, and it is alpaca. Um, I was a bit um, stupid and fell in the stairs, so I think two days after I cast this on, I had uh, my hand broken. So I had it in a cast and I actually finished the shawl with the cast on my hand. So it's a bit loose and strange uh, knitted. But it's triangular. It is called um, shawl. Uh, shawl med hulvragd uh, mönster. This is a kind of a woven uh, pattern. Um, it's alpaca. It's uh, Suri alpaca uh, from Dale, and then it's fairy tale. All the other colors than the gray are fairy tale from the store alpaca. And because I had my hand in the cast, my right hand, and I'm right handed, it got a little bit loose, but you can still see it's a very nice way of making patterns. And I've seen it in many projects. Uh, so it's, it's rather basic. It's very nice, soft and lovely, uh, but a little bit strange knitted because I had my accident. Uh, when I was in um, Urkanger uh, and met all the international designers, I also met Jimmy Nitz. And I had a make-along or knit-along with her shawl Aggregate um, in the summer last year. So this is Aggregate Shawl by Jimmy Nitz and I really love the way it's uh, structured. I have never seen anything like it. Uh, and she had this shawl with her and also the ritual shawl by Mars was there so I could see them. See them. <laughs> So I made this and another one, and the other one I have sent to my sister-in-law, so I haven't got it here. This is Finul. It's light and not too big, but you can go on and have repetitions and have it even bigger. This is so fun. It's, it looks like a cake when you know you take the dough and you kind of make one with um, one white and one brown uh, with vanilla and uh, chocolate. Really nice pattern. Uh, Gru Tweitstel, uh, I have already mentioned her, she also has harlequin shawl and this is a very nice um, shawl. It is not too deep, it's quite long, it's really a good one to, to wear. I think I used the Verona no, uh, Trinidad from Sevec and it changes colors. 
and then I had striped two different uh, uh, yarns that changes colors but I think it went on really well and you can see that there are you do German sharp rows to make these panels. The color in front was a little bit too strong, I think now when I, <laughs> but it's too late. Uh, and I really love this one. I have used it quite a lot. And I think it's wool sock yarn, actually. I never use nice sock yarn for socks, always for shawls. Uh, Groot Weidstuhl also had a pattern that I test knitted for her and it is called Sarah. And this is Rowan Felted Tweed. And look at this. It is triangular. It's moss stitch, garter stitch, uh, something else. I don't know what to call it. Um, but not difficult at all. And uh, eye cord at the end. Not difficult, but it takes time. But this is such a nice shawl. It's, it's kind of a triangular shawl, but not exactly because it's very long wing span. This is fantastic. These are my colors. Oh, how I love them. I sometimes sell some of my shawls because I have too many. I cannot use all of them. I also made um, uh, the Shetland Trader half version by Gudrun Johnson. I have made it already and I think it got a little bit small. So I made one in double lamps wool yarn and this is triangular. First you make this garter stitch part and then you pick up and you do the this that I never <laughs> I don't I that's the English word I always forget but this like the waves chevrons is it and then the, uh, the lace at the end so this is um, the brown I, I can remember when I decided colors I did, wanted to have some kind of heavy dark ones together with some light like this green one and the white and the pink. So I think this was a kind of a good combination of colors. It's really big so I can use it in summer just but then I have to have it wrap it around my shoulders. But the Hansel Hap, I'll look up on Instagram or uh, Ravelry and you will see so many nice versions of that. I also have some um, Patricia in P Fortune Nitography. Um, she had a collection last year and I have bought all the shorts, uh, the patterns, but I haven't finished everyone. So the first one I made, maybe I can do the first one first. This is the Forest Path Hap. It's made in Finu um, from, from Rauma with uh, rather big needles, thick needles uh, compared to how thin the yarn is, but that because it's going to be drapey. And it's moss stitch um, and a little bit of, you can see the trees, and a very nice knitted pico ending. This is so lovely. It's thinner, 100% Norwegian wool. I used that for many of my shawls. Uh, she also had, I think maybe this is my absolute favorite of her designs and that is Treasures from the Forest Hub. Treasures from the Forest Path Hub. <laughs> um, made in... Um, uh, let me see if it's called, I think it's... Uh, oh, I cannot... Uh, it's Rowan Tweed, that's the name. Uh, in a really nice brown color and you can see this is uh, the pattern it's on half of this and you start knitting it from this side and you increase and increase and I remember when I made it I thought when am I going to decrease but you're not going to so when you end you end here and then you just turn it around and it's a, a triangular shawl this was one that I had made uh, quite uh, just before I uh, broke my arm so I did well I wanted to knit with a cast on and I thought I would have to knit something that I already knew quite well so I started another one in Finul. I see my pile is going so high up it's so even in the camera so I made one in pink um, it was really easy to knit with a cast uh, the 
uh, got a stitch. Not really so easy, uh, the lace part, but I managed slowly, slowly. And I love, I think this is so nice. Um, and I like nitography uh, as well with the photos and the sheep and the farm and all that. Eli Skinner Knits, she has a podcast. I always watch her episodes. And she also has a lot, she has a lot of designs. And this is Lysning. That's a shawl with the fairies inspiration. Carter stitch uh, lace. This is Vilja from Hiddesvog and I dyed it myself. And it's exactly perfect size. It's not difficult at all. I had a knit along with this, so I made this first and then I made another one in a very thin merino, Norwegian merino from Leine. It's so delicate and feminine. And it weighs almost nothing. Oh, it's fantastic. I recommend her patterns if you haven't tried it. Um, Groot Weidstone also has a show called um, Aurora and this is a perfect pattern for scrap yarns. I think it's probably only Norwegian but anyway I'll show it to you. This is uh, linen, cotton, viscose. Yeah, um, It is not difficult. You can, you can just uh, put in new, more colors than these and the panels have different kind of pattern structures. Very easy. Very funny to make an eye cord on one side and then a crocheted um, border on the other side. This is something I could use now if it would get a little bit warmer outside. I also have a happy scarf. I think scarf and shawl. I use them as the same. This is from Arne Skotvet. Uh, if you want to knit this, you will have to buy yarn and um, the pattern in the same. So, I made three of these, I think. It's knitted this way and then you pick up a stitches and knit um, this kind of uh, feminine voulon, it's called in Norwegian. Right, and per uh, knit and purl. Uh, and this is alpaca drops with uh, plum from Rauma. And that's it. This is a really a perfect shape. Like this. Um, it's mohair, so it's a little bit like this. But it's really lovely. Um, and I like the way the, these colors. Uh, I think they got very well together. Now I have one pattern left. And that's a pattern I have made a lot of shawls in. And that is Shimning by Sofia Kammerborn. The newest one is this. It's a hand-dyed um, yarn from uh, Ultösna and the lamb's wool from Rama. And when I made this, I always have that hand-dyed yarn in the stockinette part because I think then you can sh see it very well. But I, it's very uh, delicate, but then I had some accent <laughs> border. I think this lace is very nice. It's Huldra from Hillesvold. Triangular, very light because it's uh, all of this is uh, lamps wool. So this is one. I have made it in these colors. It makes me so happy when I knit this. That's why I just continue and continue. Uh, a solid uh, from the factory and then one hand dyed from me. And because they are so thin you can use them all year around. And here I had some scrap yarns and made stripes, different colors, and when I didn't have more of them, I just put in some pink. And the burgundy is the same all over. And then some uh, lamps will white for the lace. They are so easy to knit and they get so... I, l I like the way they look. This is BFL and Arvetta um, uh, Classic. Um, the hand dyed is from Nina Petrina, a Norwegian hand dyer, and I think she has stopped uh, to sell and to dye. But this is also from her, Nina Petrina. 
I could just go on and go on and now I would like to knit one more of these but maybe I have enough or I will have to give away or don't know. This is also Nina Petrina. Look at this. It's wonderful. So if you use, uh, this is a little bit thicker yarn, it's lamb's wool from Hedlus Vogue, hand dyed. Uh, but I don't use the exact uh, size, same size every time. It depends on how much yarn I have and how big I want the shawl to be. I have more shawls, uh, but I think this was enough for this episode. If you want me and if I manage, I can make more special episodes about shawls. All these are in my Ravelry. I will make a list, but I don't know if I'll put the direct link, but maybe just the name of the pattern. Uh, a lot of these are not in English, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, as inspiration you can watch this. Oh, Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, it's really nice to have the, some comments. Uh, if you would like to support our channel, you can buy us a cup of coffee at Coffee. Uh, and if you want to be a patron, we are now working on a lot of behind the scenes. We have patterns, we have some extra. I make small movies from the farm and uh, different times of the year. Uh, and we are very happy because uh, when we get some support, it helps us in the COVID time with no tourists and no arrangements because that is what we usually do in Hansgarn. Um, thank you for watching and uh, next time it will be with Janne and me a rather ordinary episode. So bye bye!